Welcome to Electron Online. Now that we're seeing the pattern, I think we should be able to come up with an equation for five lenses without going through the extra effort of actually deriving it. So let's try that and see if it works. So for five lenses, the equivalent or total focal length is going to be in the numerator, it's going to be the product of all of them, f1, f2, f3, oop, f4, and f5. The focal lengths all multiplied together. Now in the denominator, we're going to end up with five terms. Each of the five terms will only have the product of four of the focal lengths, and we're not going to have any repeating combinations. So we're going to start out with the first four right here. So we have F1, F2, F3, and F4 plus. Now in the next one, instead of writing an F4, we're going to write an F5. So this is F1, F2, F3, and F5. Then instead of the three, we're going to write this as a four. So now we have plus F1, F2, F4, and F5. And then instead of writing this as a two, we're going to write this as a three. So plus F1, F3, F4, F5. And I'm running out of room, am I? And then one more term. So now we're going to repeat everything with just the last five. So then I put a big line here so we don't get confused. So plus F2, F3, F4, and F5. So here we have the five terms in the denominator and the one term in the numerator. In the numerator, we have all five focal lengths multiplied together. In the denominator, we have five terms for five lenses. And we start with the first, first four, then replace the four by a five, the three by a four, the two by a three, and then we repeat by taking the last four, and that's how you come up with any combination. So if you want to do this with six lenses or seven lenses or eight lenses, you use the same pattern, and you'll be able to figure out what that should look like. Matter of fact, We'll do a video where we can see N lenses, how do you approach that? And that's how it's done.